channel if you are new. Today I am going to be doing something pretty cool. I'm going to be building a home altar here in my home. Um, I did a video a while ago called uh, What Every Catholic Home Should Have in it and I always ask for your guys' suggestions and what to add to things and somebody said that every Catholic home should have an altar and I thought that was such a cool idea. I really liked it and so I have been kind of slowly adding things to what I want to put on my altar. I um, went to Marshall's. I asked God if he could help me to find a little, you know, shelf or altar. And so this is actually at Marshall's. I found it on clearance for $35. And so I was so pumped. I thank God for that. And um, I think it's so pretty and just perfect for this altar that I'm going to be doing. So. Um, so pretty much I'm going to in this video just show you how I, you know, how I build it, what I add to it, and also I would just suggest if this is something you want to do, hopefully this inspires you to do it. Go on Pinterest and there are some beautiful altars on there and, um, and they blow this, what I'm going to do, probably out of the water. So definitely check out Pinterest and see um, what there are for just inspirations for maybe your home and stuff. So anyway, so that's what I'm going to do today. Okay, so we're actually in my dining room right now. And so right there is where I'm going to put everything, um, put our little altar, and then I can pray here in the mornings. novenas that I use pretty regularly so I I put them all in here so just it's easy access I have holy water in here as well and so if I have extra rosaries or whatever you can kind of put that in here and then um, underneath that I have all of my like just pamphlets and you know how you get all the holy cards and stuff from wherever just random places or books i have a lot of like rosary meditation books and stuff so um so i have just little things like that like this is the 15 promises of um reciting the rosary just a whole bunch of things in here that i don't necessarily use all the time but they're good to have and so i don't want to get rid of them and so i just have this little box that I just got at Marshall's and it has all of my like holy items in it that I'm not um, using regularly. And so I'll just put that on the bottom and then I'll put this little basket that I use regularly, all these things right on top here. And then uh, um, on the next level I have my catechism and then the Bible that um, obviously I'm gonna use all the time. And so that, so next I have um, my rosary. So I have the rosary in a little dish so that I can have easy access to it. Um, this is from my grandma, so I like it because it reminds me of her as well and I remember to pray for her. And then my rosary, I can just put in there and it's just super easy for me to grab, have like good, easy access to it. 
Okay, and then what I have next is I have um, just a bunch of like holy cards, things that really inspire me to pray. Um, I do have pictures of people in my family or people who need prayers. Uh, this is my Uncle Bill who has cancer. I pray for him all the time. This is my dad who passed away around Thanksgiving. So I remember to pray for his soul. Um, this is my family, of course, so to remember to pray for them. This is St. Catherine Drexel, and um, this is a second class relic that my mom got for me of her. So I pray um, and ask for her intercession. I love the Holy Family, so I have two of the Holy Family and the God the Father, the Holy Spirit, and then Jesus. And so um, this is my nephew who is having some mental problems, um, just like really struggling with certain things in life. So I want to pray for him. This is my uh, father-in-law who just had surgery for his brain tumor. So I put this up there to remember to pray for him. These are all my brothers and sisters, and so I put this up there to remember to pray for them as well. Okay, and then I love this because it's a standing, you know, crucifix. I can put it anywhere, really, and this I got from Lourdes a long time ago, and it, they didn't come together, but they kind of work perfect together. And then behind, I just put some fake flowers that I just love that kind of brighten up the space. Um, this I actually bought for when I went to China and it kind of closes and it's really really nice because you can bring it anywhere it was kind of our traveling Mother Mary so we'd put it up in the hotel we went to and this is a blessed candle so I can potentially light that I obviously would move it and, and light it and then um, orchids I, I love orchids and so yeah so this is pretty much what it looks like. Okay, so that is our home altar that we have now. I love it. I love how these pictures, I can kind of interchange them. So, you know, once, you know, my, my father-in-law is all healed, I can replace it with something else. You know, also I forgot to add, I have a prayer book that I literally write down people's prayers in and I wanna add that to this um, as well and I should have done that, but um, so different things like that. It doesn't have to be cookie cutter, like it can be whatever inspires you to pray. Like for me, I'm very visual, so I love stuff like this that's very visual and helps me to remember to pray for you know, my family and stuff like that. So I hope that this inspires you guys to uh, definitely get a home altar. I think ultimately you want it to be in a place where you're gonna feel comfortable praying. This is probably not my favorite place to be, so it's hard because it's a very lived in house, and so this is the only corner that I could really put something like this. But ultimately, I wish I had like a little room that I could go into and have a chair and just kind of sit before it, like to, to pray and just to be inspired. It's kind of like an inspiration board. Obviously, we're not praying to any of those things. Like we, these are just pictures. They help remind us. Um, we are not worshiping it, but it's to inspire us in our prayer. And I think that's the main thing. So, um, definitely if you are a youtuber feel free to do a video like this i would love to see what you guys um have too i will never if you ever do a video that i do like i will never think anything bad of that i think it's awesome like this whole channel is really to help inspire people in the catholic faith that is it it's not about me or anything like that so if any of my videos inspire you to do your own version of that video, I am all about it. Please know that. Um, like I said, I got this idea from you know one of the subscribers, one of the viewers who um, gave me this idea. So I am all about that. This is a community thing and I love it. I wish I could see all of your home altars because a lot of you guys said that you have them. So I don't know, I wish there was like a way I could see all yours. Maybe on Instagram, like we could hashtag like home altar or something like that. But I just love it. I'm very thankful for that person who gave me this idea and I'm thankful that God 
gave me this little table when I asked for one. He totally delivered with a sweet little table and stuff. So um, anyway, I hope that this inspired you to maybe do a home altar in your house too. And until next time, I will see you all later. God bless. Bye.